Um, there have been a lot of really interesting developments that are then completely, uh, not, it's not even memory hold because they're, they're given no air, but about, for instance, uh, the Cy Hirsch story on how the U.S. blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. And that is probably the biggest act of ecological terrorism. I mean, I don't know, in my lifetime and just crickets. So this and is- how can you how can you be Joe Biden, the climate guy, allegedly, <laughs> and you're yeah. expanding all this oil drilling you know, in the US? Yeah. We're we're trying to do in Alaska with the Willow Project. Right. Uh we're trying to cut emissions with all these electric incentives. But meanwhile, we're blowing up a pipeline in the water. In the water. <laughs> Just okay. and nobody wants to talk about it. Like, because Russia said, hey, we'd really like to investigate who did this. Nope, we're not doing it. So we thought it would be interesting to point out some of um, the hypocrisy when it comes to human rights and terrorism and war crimes. Why don't we start with this great piece with Jeffrey Sachs on the BBC? The Biden administration has been strongly critical of China's actions on human rights, but engaging on climate change. Do you see that as a strategy that can actually work? I'm not sure why BBC started with listing uh, only China's uh, human rights abuses. What about America's human rights abuses? Uh, the Iraq war, together with the UK, completely illegal and under false pretenses. Uh, the uh, war in Syria, the war in Libya, uh, the continued sanctions against civilian populations in Venezuela and Iran, walking away from the Paris Climate Agreement for the last four years. Unilateral trade actions that have been deemed illegal by WTO. So one can make anything one wants, but we have uh, really serious human rights violations by the United States abroad, not to mention an insurrection on January 6th in our own country, not to mention the continued massive racism, white supremacism and abuse of incarceration of hundreds of thousands of people in the U.S., black, uh, African-American people of color. So I think that the whole premise of this story is a little bit odd. No, but sorry, uh, and, uh, I'm looking, I, and, sorry, and, and, we, we and have to I look, just, if I may, we I have to look that, at... I found, I found the framing of it not what I expected. I thought we were going to talk about climate change, which we should, but I think that the idea that there is one party that is so guilty, how can we talk to them, is just a strange way to address this issue. Well, hang on. I'm, we have uh, United, sorry, Jeffrey, we have Jeffrey State, if we have I could a, come, US Jeffrey, that has, I, I'm, US hoping that has been in, I'm hoping we can have a conversation. And if I could okay. just say, I'm, I'm using, and, and, and what I'm saying back to you here is, we're also using the framing of the Biden administration. We're also talking from the perspective of how Joe Biden himself and those around him have talked about the human rights abuses well, in, yeah, in China. That, so, so, so course, you know, the, sorry, the, just, the just to say. Always, excuse me for one moment. The U.S. always attacks other countries. It holds itself sacrosanct. Oh, where'd you go? Why'd you pack? Your show, Lila. You do you. <laughs> My show. You're, um, CEO. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. But yes, um, uh, obviously, yeah. th I love that they're like, well, no, we're just using the Biden framework. Well, that's the point. That is literally the point. You are using the framing of the Democrats to make the, the Republicans the evil party out here. Yeah. And somehow the U.S. is not the bad guy. The U.S. is the bad guy to most of the world. To most of the world. And this was the 20th anniversary of the invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan which we were lied into, everybody knew it, and they just decided they were, like, a million Iraqis were killed. Thousands of our own soldiers. Their whole country was decimated. Uh, the war crimes that nobody has paid for except for the people who exposed them, Abu Ghraib. Why is Guantanamo still open? Like, we have so much that we could be dealing with here on our own. If anybody believes that we are, you know, what, what is their new propaganda thing? The, um, the rules-based order, which is a yeah. joke, right? Like the whole reason that we are not prosecuting Russian war crimes 
is because the U.S. was advised against pushing for the prosecution because that would open us up to being prosecuted for our own war crimes. So. Yeah, and this is where this is where the left is so fucking pathetic. The progressive. This is where electoral politics for the left is so fucking doomed because look at everything right now. You got covid and Biden's failure to address it responsibly. Huge opening for progressives to come in and say, you know, this is why we need someone that's not bought by either party. You know, yeah. but huge opening uh, that. Why don't we have a Claire Daly here who's pointing out, holy shit, we need to investigate to see if our country was involved in this, because this is, you know, if you did that, it's an environmental issue. It's an oil issue. It's a it's a war. I'm it against up, humanity. It's a, it brings it's up a the war Ukraine crime. war. Yeah. It's it's all these issues are encompassed. There's. To, to be on Congress. the left and not yeah. and not even like suggest politely that we look at this stuff and without yeah. you don't even have to point fingers at Biden for it. You just have to say, you know, I want to just make sure that we're not involved in this. We need to get involved. We need to get to the the bottom of it. But you you could couch it however you want. But yeah. you don't you don't have to couch it in a way that attacks the president. But they won't you even get do that, that that hard. Attack. Even though the outcome would give them a foot in the door to make an attack and take over the democratic party if he wanted to potentially. I'm not I mean, happened, I think that but the example that was made out of JFK uh MLK, Fred Hampton, like the example of what happens when you try to go against the whole structure of power, I think resonates pretty hard with people in Congress, even if they wanted to. But it is shocking. I totally agree. Right. With you. But at the end of the day, if you can't use these things to get people's attention, everything yeah. else is, is there's no, like, like it, no. people on the left waiting for a moment. These are your moments yeah. and we're not using them at all. Yeah. A hundred percent. Should we take well, a look at what we could have if we had a Claire Daly? I was just going to say, let's show oh. Claire Daly. Cause this is, look this at one. that mind meld. Are you showing it or am I? I was waiting for you. To Since September, the lack of interest in finding answers to who was behind the Nord Stream gas explosion has been, frankly, astounding. This was an act of sabotage, an act of unrivaled va vandalism, economically and environmentally, and not a word, no discussion, no questions. Then along comes Seymour Hirsch, the world's most acclaimed, distinguished, living investigative journalist. He produces a detailed claim that the United States executed this explosion with the help of Norway. Planned months before the invasion, a Norwegian Navy P-8 surveillance plane dropped a sonar buoy on the 26th of September, which triggered explosions planted by US Navy Panama City divers three months earlier under a NATO exercise, and still nothing. I don't know what happened, but I want to know. This is a man who doesn't make claims lightly, a man with contacts. And I find it frankly jaw-dropping that the EU is not asking questions as to who is responsible for sabotaging the livelihoods of our citizens. I am ashamed to be a European. I love her. That's Nick right. Oh, Claire, oh, we were both doing the same thing at the same time. We're yeah. so in sync. <laughs> Nick and Claire are killing it. Can we just yeah. get, I mean, how many One. The, we just need yeah. two more. We just need two, two more. Two would be nice. A, a male and a female. Could you know. we have anybody who Can brings get... the ruckus? Instead, yeah. we've got AOC doing, uh, you know, recruitment. Military for recruitment. Kids. Yeah, like, and what pretending it's hell? not about military recruitment because this is for higher, it's for college, but it's a military college. I mean, what are you doing? And it's promoting it. And she did a whole. Who cares Instagram about it? But she no, did a I whole know, like so rebuttal, yeah, Instagram thing that went on for like half an hour or some bullshit. Yeah, she talks uh, it's not camera. really military, and you guys attacking me on this are are wrong because you don't have all the facts. And adults mm -hmm. actually showed up to the event, and this is an event for kids. Well, yeah, and by the military. way, some parents weren't allowed in with their kids, from what I read from people who were there. It it that's despicable. But anyway, yes, we do need uh we need a Mick and Claire. We need a Mick one Mick. We have a Shama or a Claire. Yeah, we do have a Shama, but but she's not in Congress. No, um, she, nobody here. Uh, only we are the only people that hear Shama. 
us on the left that want we choose to hear yeah. her. That's the only reason we she's not being put in the in front of the face of anybody. Yeah. But Mick, Mick and Claire are literally out there getting listened to every fucking day. Yeah. Compared to us. Our country has no voices on the left getting heard by mainstream people. Thank you.